ये जो इंडिया है ना यहां अब नो दंगा ऑल इज चंगा Why? Because now movies, cricket, food, clothes, even romance and religious processions are being well used to spread hate and divide us. Why hire professional goons? Peshawar dangaiyon ki ab kya zarurat? Why push your local corporator or MLA into provoking or leading a mob when you can pack the same hate into a film and then sit back as the damage is done? Here are the latest examples. At Government Medical College Jammu, an argument on WhatsApp over the Kerala story's disturbing Islamophobia led to a clash injuring five students, both Muslim and Hindu. One student, Hasib, suffered a serious head injury. In Akola, Maharashtra, a social media hate-filled chat about the Kerala story went viral, leading to violence in which one person was killed. In March 2022 also when the Kashmir files was released viral videos from cinema halls in India showed audience members calling for violence against Muslims <laughs> While some BJP ruled states have declared the Kerala story tax free some non BJP states have ensured that the film is not screened both sides politicizing the issue Kashmir files too saw several BJP ruled states declare the film tax free the kerala story talks about three women lured to join isis the kashmir files is about the violence against kashmiri pandits in the early 1990s both are valid subjects but both films are also full of islamophobia and both films had top bjp leaders the prime minister central ministers chief ministers fully approving them calling for all indians to watch them with not a word about their divisive nature ये जो इंडिया है ना यहां बी एट ऑन सोशल मीडिया ऑन टीवी चैनल डिबेट्स और वायरल वीडियोस बी एट इन लैक्स ऑफ होम्स ऑफिसेस बसेस ट्रेन्स नाना नानी पार्क्स आर डब्ल्यू एज कॉलेज एंड स्कूल कैंपसेस फिल्म्स लाइक द केरला स्टोरी एंड द कश्मीर फाइल्स हैव सक्सीडेड इन डिवाइडिंग अस एंड दिस वेपनाइजिंग ऑफ फिल्म्स विद कम्युनल हेट इज प्रूविंग एज इफेक्टिव इफ नॉट मोर इफेक्टिव in dividing indians than any communal riot look at these box office numbers the kashmir files earned an estimated 340 crore rupees the second highest in bollywood in 2022 the kerala story has earned 150 crores in 12 days since its release coming next the same formula may be applied to a film like tipu about the life of tipu sultan of mysore the film's teaser is highly islamophobic calling tipu sultan a destroyer of temples and churches who killed and converted thousands of hindus it ends with tipu's face being smeared black but i remember how my amar chitra katha comic called tipu the lion of mysore who spent his whole life taking on the british who even died fighting them imagine a film teaser about tipu sultan skipping such basic facts how the censor board is even certifying such content is baffling and saddening too even more worrying is the return of weaponizing religious processions ram navmi processions in india have had a history of being linked to violence the bloodiest and earliest was the ram navmi riots of april 1979 in jamshedpur which left 108 people dead 79 muslims 25 hindus The Jitendra Narayan Commission appointed by the Janata Party government held an RSS affiliated local MLA Dinanath Pandey responsible for the hostile climate that led to the rioting back then too the provocation was choosing to take the procession through a muslim dominated area and even halting in front of a masjid this template sadly has been rediscovered 2022 and 23 have seen Ram Navmi procession related violence in multiple states and following these processions without fail are viral videos of provocative slogans and chants taking place in front of local masjids even some of arson being committed at these masjids as most of us know from our social media feeds these videos are viewed by millions and across thousands of bigoted whatsapp groups with one simple message each time we are the majority we call the shots so deal with it again the haters get the job done with no riot required over the years we have weaponized cricket too 
from targeting Kashmiri students for allegedly supporting Pakistan at Indo-Pak matches, we are now targeting members of Team India. At an India-Australia test match in Ahmedabad, India's top bowler Mohammad Shami was heckled by spectators who stood behind him chanting Jai Shri Ram. Shami Jai Shri Ram! Even young Ashdeep Singh was trolled and labelled a Khalistani for dropping a catch during an Indo-Pak match in 2022. We've seen the targeting of interfaith romance and marriages, the passing of so-called anti-love jihad laws. We've seen the targeting of clothing with Karnataka's hijab ban on college and school students. Calls for the economic boycott of Muslim shops and businesses have been heard. Performing namaz in the open is targeted. Eating biryani has been mocked. It's a 360 degree targeting of Muslims with ministers, local leaders, social media influencers and sadly even thousands of ordinary folk taking part. A physical riot ropes in a few hundred fanatics but this weaponizing of popular culture where the bashing of Muslims is virtual and on a mass scale is drawing many more to participate in the vicious bigotry without being required to throw a single stone. Ye jo India hai na, it needs to shut out hate which is invading some of India's most secular spaces be it films or cricket or our favourite festivals.